100 rated chess, but there's physics, your pieces, and pawns, must always have pieces, or pawns, stacked under them or they'll fall and die. I think Newton will be very happy in his grave. We get a 235 from Italy. E4. Imagine if I push E5, my E pawn won't be having anything stacked under him on E7 and E6, which means he will be falling and die. Therefore, Knight C6. And let's just say that the pawns don't fall from their starting position, because if they do I don't even know what the frick I am supposed to do anymore. Queen F3. Knight F6. D3. Alright, so now the question is, what do I do? Knight G8. No worries, I'll make progress soon enough. Knight H3. Change of plan. Knight H6. The plan is very simple, he takes my knight, I can take his bishop because my pawns is stacked. Rook g8 being the base for bishop g7 means I can finally develop my first piece of the game. Unless he doesn't want to take. I need this knight here to defend my f pawn, so I can only move this knight. To be honest, this challenge seems a lot harder than I thought, so if he can just blunder his queen right now, that will definitely help a lot. I solemnly swear, that this guy is not a paid actor. Knight takes f7 is forced. My knight is supported by my bishop, so he doesn't fall, as long as the bishop's muscles don't wear out. Knight takes f7. King takes f7. Resignation. Wow. I thought this would be a very long game and I'll have to do many things to win, but I guess sometimes we just have to get a short video.